Hi, uh, welcome to the AutoCAD Essentials for Civil Engineers course. This is a week one course and in this course you will get started with AutoCAD. Hope you will learn more about the AutoCAD, about how to use the tool during the sessions. So let's start with the introduction to AutoCAD. So before learning the software and learning the trips and tricks and how to start uh, CAD drafting, uh, it's very important uh, for you to l know about how the AutoCAD journey started. So let's go with the introduction to AutoCAD. So AutoCAD as the name suggests is Autodesk Computer Aided Drafting. So it is a very well renowned drafting software uh, which was derived from a program that started in 1977. It's so old. And then it was released in 1979 by the name of InteractCAD. So this was written prior to Autodesk, then main chip software partners formation by Autodesk co-founder Michael Riddle. So it's, it's way back in 1982, the Autodesk demonstrated the software in the Comdex, which is a, a computer exhibition, and released the software officially in December 1982. At that time, AutoCAD supported CPM80 computers. So it's so the computers were big and uh, they were really in big in size at that uh, time in, in the way back in 1982. So as Autodesk flagship uh, product by March 1986, AutoCAD had become the most ubiquitous CAD program worldwide. Means that it was mostly adopted by architects, engineers and designers across the world and it became famous from that time. So why AutoCAD uh, has become so famous? So the, the file format for AutoCAD is DWG. So when you will be working on an AutoCAD drawing or a project, you will be saving the file as DWG and that is what is, is the file format for a common project for AutoCAD. So this is to a lesser extent, it's interchange file format DXF. So now uh, DXF is also a file format, which is a uh, data file uh, format. That means data transfer file format. Normally, if you, let's say, uh, when you are saving uh, the file as DXF, it can be opened in other CAD program like MicroStation or any other software. So it is a data file uh, where the data are exchanged. So the DXF have become a standard. AutoCAD has included support for DWF and then uh, with the invention with this with the with the start of the internet the web format became more popular so there were many people who were not having the software but they had internet with them so the dwf format is basically supported by those uh, who are not having autocad but they can browse the drawings or browse the project or work in the project and do some reviews into it so uh, this is uh, some very interesting fact about uh, autocad and uh, now this is uh, we are in the year 2020 so every year uh, next uh, year release is marked so in 2020 the 2021 products of autocad was introduced which is the 35th major release of autocad for windows now autocad comes with a mac operating system also so for windows it is the 35th major release of the software so autodesk has developed uh, a few vertical programs for discipline specific enactment now uh, in, in 1920, uh, I mean, in, in, in 2019, in fact, uh, AutoCAD, Autodesk has developed a lot of integration into the software of AutoCAD. So there were a lot of vertical programs which was developed uh, in the AutoCAD uh, software, and they are normally uh, advanced softwares which are uh, based of AutoCAD, like AutoCAD Advanced Steel, AutoCAD Architecture. Now, talk about Advanced Steel and Architecture. They are not so new software they have been used as a standalone software uh, from very fast like autocad was architecture desktop and then advanced steel was there advanced steel is a major uh, game changer in the bim where you can do a lot of steel detailing and there are a lot of things that people uses right now with autocad advanced steel then autocad electrical is, is one of the best softwares for electrical design system design and then we have this ecs cat for electronics AutoCAD uh, Map 3D again it for the GIS Geographical Information System. AutoCAD Mechanical, so it was Mechanical Desktop uh, at the first beginning, which later developed into AutoCAD Mechanical Software. 
which is again a very interesting software for mechanical engineers where they can uh, create part modelings, where they can do assemblies and there are a lot of things that are there in AutoCAD Mechanical. Then we have MEP for like mechanical, electrical and plumbing like HVAC, you can do a, a HVAC duct design or you can do an electrical circuit design or you can basically do a plumbing and firefighting into an AutoCAD platform using AutoCAD MEP and similarly the structural detailing again like the reinforcement, rebar detailing and a lot of things are there in AutoCAD structure detailing, then AutoCAD utility design, PNID, uh, AutoCAD plan 3D is, is, is now majorly used in a lot of industrial design. So, and AutoCAD Civil 3D, right? I mean, AutoCAD Civil 3D, AutoCAD Civil 3D is again uh, one of the uh, very popular software which are used in infrastructure development and in the highway projects or a lot of survey. Uh, drawings are brought into AutoCAD Civil 3D. There's a lot of things that uh, are there for highway engineers and uh, surveyors. So, so this is something about the vertical programs uh, in AutoCAD. And then uh, we have how, now the question is, how do I purchase the software? How they are available? So prior to 2019 or, you know, way back, uh, five, six years back, the Autodesk uh, AutoCAD used to come as a perpetual license, right? Now, the Autodesk has uh, basically a full version of a subscription-based model. Uh, they have started up a subscription-based model, which is available in two versions. One is a low-cost version, which is an AutoCAD LT. So, I call it as lighter version. And then you, you have an AutoCAD full software. So, now, when you, um, uh, you know, first released in November 1993, that means it's very old. LT is a very old software. Uh, but why we use LT? Because LT is a low-priced uh, software. So, there are few drawbacks and few few things that you cannot do in LT. So, when you go to uh, any market or a vendor or a supplier of Autodesk and ask for AutoCAD, then you can ask for AutoCAD LT. If you need lower uh, version of AutoCAD and there are certain things that you want to do and certain things you want, don't want to do. So, what is the main difference between AutoCAD full software and AutoCAD LT? Now, the AutoCAD LT lacks the ability to create, visualize and render 3D model as well as 3D printing. Now, this is something that AutoCAD LT uh, does not have the capability. So, you have to be very, very cautious about if you are taking an LT version, you cannot do any 3D modeling or you cannot do a rendering or you cannot do any 3D printing process for that. You have to go for a, a AutoCAD full version. Then comes the network licensing. Now, so when you're working in a big company, so you need a network license. So AutoCAD LT cannot be used in multiple machines over a network. So it is very, very important that when you are purchasing, it is a standalone software and it has it has a very basic use uh, when you are using into a, a normal drafting or a CAD drafting or a 2D drafting you are doing. So you cannot customize it because AutoCAD full version has a lot of things that you can do like customize the entire uh, software uh, as per your project requirement. So you cannot do that customization using Lisp program or a .NET program or a VBA visual basic application. You cannot customize it. And there are a lot of things like CAD standard management tools. We'll be learning a bit about CAD standards further in the course. Now the question is, uh, as if I am a practicing civil engineer, I am a student. So which software should I use? So for that, if you are a student in any recognized university or in a college uh, which is affiliated to, an, uh, to a body like a education body or something, accreditation is there. So for that, there are student versions available in Autodesk platform. So this student version are free uh, for one year. Uh, to students, educator and educational institute with a 12-month renewable license available. So, not only AutoCAD, it, there are a lot of other softwares like Revit is there, like uh, Inventor is there, Fusion 360 is there. There are a lot of bunch of softwares on Autodesk that you can have free if you are a student or an educator or are associated with any educational institute uh, across the world. So, it is basically, you will get the full version, you will get a license to, uh, you know, teach or license to learn and there are a lot of, lot of, lot resources, online resources available in internet. So, we will talk about uh, uh, it later, but it's very important, you cannot use it commercially. You cannot use the AutoCAD uh, student version or AutoCAD student version commercial use 
right you can use it for teaching or if you're an educator you can use it for uh, educating the students or whatever it is but you cannot use it for commercial use now coming back to a web-based service like we'll talk about AutoCAD 360. So AutoCAD 360 was formerly AutoCAD WS. It's an account-based mobile and web application which uh, registered user to view, edit, and share. Now, if you don't have uh, a, a laptop or if you're working online, so you can always review the soft, uh, review the drawings using the AutoCAD 360 application. So it's a mobile application or a desktop application. You can download it from the Google or any internet site of Autodesk, and then you can work. Uh, online into the projects okay so, so do some google and find out more about i would recommend to students you should always go to google and find out more and more about what we are discussing right now so there are a lot of information in the website in the in the google in the, in the search domain that you can find out more about these uh, terms and these the information regarding what i'm discussing right now now uh, there are a lot of uh, people who ask me, uh, what is the uh, application of the AutoCAD in the industry? So whether you're an architect, you're an engineer, civil, mechanical, electrical, or electronics, graphic designer, anywhere there is the work of drafting and design is going, so the software is there anywhere in the world. So AutoCAD has a huge uh, a customer base across the world in US, in Europe, in Asia, anywhere in the world you go this software will be available for drafting so any engineer who is basically into manufacturing or into civil or into infrastructure everywhere this software is used so it is very very popular software and i'm sure that when you learn this software you will learn more about you'll have a passion about learning drafting and design using the autocad software so now uh, I think uh, for now, uh, in fact, uh, we, I will be going how to start the uh, uh, software and uh, then we will uh, we will see the graphical interface of uh, Autodesk, how it uh, basically um, you can start a software and uh, there are many things that we will learn. So let's uh, jump start to the to the how to start the AutoCAD software if you are having Windows 10 or Windows seven eight or whatever it is so these instruction will help you okay so let's jump start